What's going on, YouTube? Back with another video. BMX Trash Talk here, and thank you for tuning in. Yes, I finally got me a bike stand. Actually, the guy gave me a good deal on it, and I picked it up for 30 bucks on OfferUp. And I hardly ever go on OfferUp because my neck of the woods is very thick with collectors, and we're all chasing the same thing. But I went on OfferUp that day, and went ahead and picked this up. But the main focus of this video is gonna be this gorgeous 1983 Robinson Pro. And as long as I've been collecting, which has been about two to two and a half years, this, I've never seen this bike for sale. And that's what actually caught my attention. But this one is in its original finish. The chrome on this bike is in good shape. Has the original forks, original decals, which I am a sucker for original decals. It did come with this Tange headset. And to my beginners, all this is your headset right here. And also, this is a gusset, this piece of metal that's between these two bars. And make sure that you pay attention that there's no cracks up in this area right here. You know, this bike is very old and I'm pretty sure it was raced at one point in time. And also pay attention to right below in this area right here. It could be like a hairline crack or it could be cracks in here and make sure that that tube is a perfect circle. If it's crimped, and what I mean by crimped is if it's pinched a little bit, you might have a hard time putting on a C-clamp. If you wanna roll the dice to go ahead and get that bike, make sure that you get a hell of a deal for it. But if there's anybody in the market for this bike, make sure that you pay attention to this area right here. So you have the serial number at the top, then you have that circle, and there's a P stamped right there. That P stands for Pro. Robinson did come out with an expert, which it would be an E, and then they came out with one that didn't have a stamp. Now make sure that you pay attention to that and ask the seller to send you a picture of that. Don't trust anybody unless you've done a number of businesses with the person and that way you can try to build up some trust. And I'm all for building relationships with guys in this hobby. It makes things a whole lot easier. I might have something that they need or some information or better yet, I might have a, a bike that I'm not interested in and I know where, uh, example, I know where a uh, Dino Tour is. So, you know, I'm... I have a nice little circle of guys that I go to for stuff. And that's how I found this bike right here. I actually traded some of my stuff for this bike. Actually, I traded a number of my bikes and I do have some new bikes that I'm going to have on this channel. And that's the name of the game. You got to trade good shit to get good shit. Uh, a buddy of mine, he only wanted trades for this bike. So he was not going to sell this bike at all so he wanted something in return luckily i had something that he wanted so we made it happen and this one also came with the original decals and the seller that sold him these decals actually sold him two sets so you see the pro on the left and then the rest of the robinson stickers that's for the expert or the or the non-stamped version and um i forgot how much he got that for i'm um, maybe between 50 and 75 bucks, but he has a real good guy that uh, does uh, decals. I have big plans for this bike. I think I'm gonna end up doing red and chrome on this one. Um, I do have, this one's red right here, this 84 uh, Greg Hill, but which I'm not keeping that bike in a ways. I might end up doing something with that one. I'm not sure just yet, but 
This one, I'm thinking red and chrome. I can't wait. I still need to clean it up. I need to get some of this rust off right here. It's not bad. And I don't think I'm going to dip this bike at all. I think I'm just going to use uh, some foil paper and some water or maybe find a solution and get some of this uh, little light rust off. But I'm excited that I got this bike. This one right here, I will be keeping. Now, I know I've said that with a number of my bikes, but I'm, I'm serious about this one right here. I have not seen this one for sale at all. So this one's definitely staying in the collection but i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up i think this is like take 34 i've been trying to get this video out for about two hours now and something always comes up or i'll fumble on the word or or i'll miss some information so i'm glad to get this video done and over with but if you like what i'm doing hit that like button Subscribe to the channel, please. Ring that notification bell. That way you catch my videos when they come out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.